One billion young people risk irreversible hearing loss from loud music. One billion teenagers and young adults around the world risk losing their hearing irreversibly by listening to loud music. This is according to the World Health Organization. The UN agency is asking young people to turn down the volume to prevent irreversible damage to their hearing. Few things get the blood pumping like good music. Many people believe louder is better if you were listening to rock and roll, but experiencing really loud music, even really good music, can have a serious, irreversible effect on your hearing. Dr. Shelley Chadha is a specialist on hearing damage for the World Health Organization. Dr. Chadha says the cells that we use to hear, called sensory cells, can be irreversibly damaged by loud sounds that happen over a long period of time, or are prolonged and happen regularly, or are habitual. When this exposure is particularly loud or prolonged or habitual, the sensory cells are damaged permanently, leading to irreversible hearing loss. Studies in middle and high income countries show nearly 50% of teenagers and young adults aged 12 to 35 years listen to unsafe levels of sound. They are listening on their personal audio devices as well as at concerts, nightclubs and other entertainment places. The WHO says there can be many kinds of unsafe levels of sound. It depends how loud the sound is and how long you listen to it. Unsafe can mean noise levels of 85 decibels for 8 hours a day or 100 decibels for just 15 minutes. Dr. Chadha said that when the intensity of sound increases by only 3 decibels, safe listening time goes down by half. If a person takes a subway to go from one place to the other for half an hour in the morning and a half an hour in the evening, and every day has to turn up the volume on his device because there is so much noise of the train and everything around, and is listening to, let's say, 100 decibels for one hour every day, his hearing is going to get irreversibly damaged in a few years, in a couple of years' time, for sure. Dr. Chadha says there are simple measures to protect people from unsafe sound levels. She says young people who wear earplugs during concerts can enjoy music at 90 decibels as much as they can at 110 decibels, but she admits that earplugs may not look very cool. The fact that earplugs may look uncool may be true today, but if there is a change in behaviour, that may not necessarily be true in the future, and wearing earplugs may actually be cool. A common sense suggestion is to turn down the volume on your personal audio devices. The WHO also advises young people to limit their use of such devices to less than one hour a day. It reminds people to use their technology to stay safe. Smartphone apps can help to monitor safe listening levels. The UN agency estimates 360 million people suffer irreversible hearing loss linked to many causes, including noise, genetic conditions, infectious diseases and ageing. It notes half of all cases of hearing loss are avoidable.